The Erskine Bridge was built in the late 1960s to link the two communities of Western Bartonshire and Renfrewshire together at a time when the road transport infrastructure was expanding at the same time as the gas network infrastructure and we collaborated at the time to install the pipes within the, the deck structure of the Erskine Bridge as it was being built. The SGN has a duty of care to ensure that we maintain our assets and our pipelines to the highest quality. We decided to invest and invest significantly on replacing the pipeline. We were approached by Transport Scotland when they were planning to refurbish their bridge and we were presented with a unique window of opportunity. It wouldn't have been possible to reinstall the pipes within the bridge as a working and open bridge without closing it to traffic for a long period of time. So we had to find a solution of crossing the river that didn't involve using the bridge. And we came up with one location, the only location that there was to install a new pipeline if that was going to happen. Even some of my colleagues that are industry experts in their field have said that it's you know, some of the most challenging um, you know, that they've done. The structures, the water courses. It's like taking all the challenges you would get in a large cross-country pipeline project and condensing them all into two kilometres. The pipeline goes under a gas station there, the Antonine Wall, which is an old Roman wall, the A82, which is a dual carriageway, through a local park, Kilpatrick Railway Station there, St Patrick's Church. Then we cross the Forth and Clyde Canal under the Saltings, which is this area here. Obviously, cross under the river itself. On the other side, we pop out in the Marhall Golf Course, then go through Bowdoin Boo Woods before connecting back into our existing pipeline. So yeah, just uh, one or two obstacles to overcome. Community involvement is absolutely critical in projects like this. And it's to everyone's real credit that we have not had one serious complaint since this project commenced. You know, we spent a lot of time doing research, speaking to the local community, finding out sort of local knowledge and um, keeping them updated. We obviously wanted to make the project successful with the least impact to the community, not just the people, but, you know, the, the environment and just looking after the place. The scale of the project has been huge. Uh, we've had to interact with several landowners along the way Several local authorities are involved in the project as well, as well as the transport organisations, the canal organisations, the ancient monument people and nature reserves along the way. The whole project's been fantastic. I've enjoyed being involved in the whole thing. Everything's ran smoothly and I would say they're even leaving it in better condition than actually we got the ground in originally. I don't think some people knew it was even going on. They were really accommodating in terms of getting the kids down to the site. They had a chance to have a shot in the digger, they had a chance to see exactly what the, the project entails. It's just been fabulous. It's really been incredibly worthwhile and I can only say thank you from the, the Gavin Byrne team to Murphy's and SGN for all that they've done and I think I would say they've gone above and beyond a lot of the time as well to help us out and be part of our community. These kids have signed the pipes. We told them you're driving over there when you're 25, 30, 35, 40. Your name's under the river. That's fantastic to leave that behind. The overriding thing for me is what a fantastic community. I'm absolutely delighted to have been a part of it. It's been really, really interesting. And uh, you know, I've, I've learned something every day, I think. I'm incredibly proud to have led the team to deliver this project for SGN. Really has been a tremendous feat of engineering, and this project has been successfully delivered. I am a very proud MD of Scotland.